What's up, smarty people? It's Keys Dan with RadioWhat.com, DJLittleRock.com, coming to you live and in a living color from the Radio What Studios. And this is Keys Dan's show with some news, some yummy, yummy news. If you see in the picture right next to me, it's some good food, some delicious food. But it's probably not surprising that it's not the greatest for you. Even in moderation, ultra-processed food consumption is tied to higher risk of mortality. Surprised? A recent study conducted by researchers at the Sorbonne in Paris has suggested a potential link between the consumption of ultra-processed foods and an increased risk of cancer. The study, which analyzed data from over 540 thousand older adults found that those who consumed higher amounts of ultra processed foods were around 10 percent more likely to die earlier than those who followed a more balanced diet lead author erica loftfield and her colleagues at the national cancer institute observed the dietary habits of older adults between 50 and 71 for nearly 30 years They found that highly processed meats and soft drinks were among the subgroups of ultra-processed foods most strongly associated with an increased risk of mortality. Ultra-processed foods are defined as industrial formulations that are manufactured from food-derived substances and contain additives and preservatives to increase shelf life. These products include items such as packaged snacks, mass-produced bread, breakfast cereals, and reconstituted meat products. Research has shown that a diet high in ultra-processed foods can lead to lower intake of essential nutrients like fiber, protein, and potassium. Additionally, consuming these products has been linked to an increased risk of obesity, hypertension, type 2 diabetes, coronary heart disease, breast cancer, and other health conditions. In a 2024 study published in Neurology, researchers found that increasing the intake of ultra-processed foods by just 10% was associated with a higher risk of cognitive impairments and stroke. This is thought to be due to the additives in these foods potentially affecting gut health and leading to inflammation. Overall, the evidence suggests that reducing the consumption of ultra-processed foods and opting for a diet rich in minimally processed foods like fruits, vegetables, and whole grains may have significant health benefits, including maintaining brain health and reducing the risk of chronic diseases. It is important for individuals to be mindful of their food choices and prioritize whole nutritious options over highly processed alternatives. I don't know about you, but I like my sweets, but I know I have to cut back, especially as I get older. I'm in my 50s now. Time to turn this Titanic around. I'm going to the gym. Not very often and for not very long, but at least I'm going to the gym. So diet, exercise should help me stay alive a little bit longer learning more and reading more about these fine fine topics just to make your day a little brighter it's keys dan radio what.com dj little rock.com stay healthy keys dan show peace i'm out of here